Hello friends, this is Abhishek Agrawal here and in this particular tutorial I am going to show you how to perform a knurling operation in Katya V5. It is a subscriber request tutorial where one of my subscriber asked me to show how, how can we create a knurling profile in Katya V5. So quickly start with it. Uh, to perform a knurling operation, first of all we will have to use a different workbench that is a wireframe surface design. So select a workbench and name the part as knurling operation so click ok uh, but first of all what we're gonna do here we're gonna make a cylindrical profile and after that we'll use a helix command to make a helix profile over it so quickly start with selecting a yz plane go to sketch select some random profile of like this and then we'll use a revolve command to make it cylindrical uh, revolve command is very much similar to a shaft command in part design but the advantage of using revolve command is that we don't need to have our uh, surface to be closed as you can see here it is a uh, it is an open surface still we can use a revolve command over here so let's quickly give a dimension let's make it 120 and uh, let's make this then as 50 so exit from sketch um, so we'll use a revolve command uh, which is here you can also select revolve command from insert surfaces and revolve um, select a revolution axis like this define an angle as 360 degree and okay so here we are completed with our cylindrical profile uh, second step is to um, make a helix profile over this surface so go to wireframe select helix now the starting point would be uh, this one and our axis of helix would be this one so let's make a height of uh, helix as uh, 100 and uh, to define a pitch uh, while making a knurling profile up the pitch should be more than double of height as height is 100 mm so we can take our pitch as 220 which is more than double so click ok so here we got a, a helix curve of pitch 220 mm so we, we need to extrapolate this curve little bit so that we can create a plane at the end of the curve so go to insert operations extrapolate uh, we will use a boundary as this point and uh, we use this curve as extrapolate we will use the con we will make continuity as a, a long curvature uh, let us take length of 20 and ok so here we are completed with the figure now what we are what we gonna need here we need one more one more profile like this uh, on either direction of um, yz plane so what we're gonna do here is that we're gonna use a uh, symmetry command uh, it is a profile which is to be mirrored and select this point this plane as our mirroring mirroring surface and okay so here we are completed with the uh, symmetry command now what we need to do here is we need to create a plane so select this uh, curve and we need to create a plane at the end of the curve which is normal to the curve so here it is and uh, the same with the other curve also and this is the point yeah so we have completed with the uh, profile now we need to go back to our part design workbench where we can use a slot command uh, to make a cut so first of all what we gonna need here we need to convert this circular surface into a solid body how can we do we can use we can uh, do it by using a surface based feature it is a closed surface one and select the part body here and okay so now you are not able to see um, to see uh, circular 
to see a solid body uh, what you need to do here is to hide all the surfaces so that now you are able to see a solid body now the next part uh, next thing that we need to do is to make a profile so select this particular plane select this particular plane uh, go to sketch select some rang random triangle avoid using any automatic constraint like this yeah define angle between these two line as 80 degree what I am trying to do here is uh, to make a cut uh, to make a profile of the cut that we need to have on our surface uh, I am I am following ISO standards uh, to make this curve so the make this point and this line coincident and you angle between these two line would be 40 uh, now we need a curve cut of 2 mm depth so we'll have we have to define the distance between this axis and this point as uh, 50 as a total um, total distance from this axis to the outer surface is 50 so we'll make it as 48 so that we can have a 2 mm depth so here we are completed with the profile uh, quickly exit from sketch go to slot command uh, select the center curve as uh, this one uh, use a pulling direction as uh, this one as this revolute profile axis and okay so here we are uh, got our first cut now what we need we need a number of patterns of such cuts uh, over this circular surface so for that we'll use a circular pattern command which is over here uh, let's make the instance as 30 uh, don't change the angle make the parameter as complete crown so do you don't need to define any angle it will automatically take an angle as the 12 degree um, the reference would be this revolute profile and our object is uh, slot so okay yeah here we are completed with the one side cut over over the complete circular body now we need to create a same profile uh, over this plane so select this this particular plane go to select go to sketch create some random profile uh, define the angle between them as uh, 80 degree now make this line and this particular point uh, coincident and uh, angle between this line and this particular line is uh, 40 degree and uh, one more dimension is required here the depth of cut to define that we need to define a distance between this particular axis and uh, this particular axis and this point as uh, 48 so that we can have a uh, cut of depth 2 so here we are completed with the profile uh, let's quickly exit from the sketch go to slot command select the center curve as this one um, keep the pulling direction and select particular surface uh, some revolute axis rather and click ok ok so here we are completed with our first cut uh, for the second second curve now what we need we need to make number of patterns over this circular surface so again go to circular pattern uh, 
select complete crown parameter instance 30 select the as uh, yeah we need to select profile that's why we uh, made show to revolute one and uh, our body would be slot two so okay so here we are we completed uh, with the uh, slot two circular pattern uh, what we can do we can hide uh, again the surface can hide all surfaces again yeah and yes here we are completed with our knurling profile as you can see over here so this is it for the knurling operation thank you very much for watching my video uh, in case of any query clarification and advice you can comment below and if you want any other uh, any other request you want any other assembly which you want me to do uh, you can write to me at abhishek.a3 to at the rate of gmail.com um, if you like my video please subscribe it so that i can upload more and more videos uh, to help you to learn kadia v5 till then thank you very much stay tuned